Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to check out the AI writing tool called WriteSeed. So we're at their website right now. Let's just quickly go through what they have to offer from the rest of the other AI writing, uh, writing, AI writing assistants. So first thing I always like to do is check out how much traffic they have. So by similar web, they're gaining traffic uh, almost over 130k visits per month. That's pretty good. Majority of the users are in US and in France. So let's have a look. The best AI writing tool. It creates SEO optimized content for a blog. So they do have a free trial. You can try this out at your own. They will provide you unlimited content. You can cancel any time. So this will shine out because they've got the SEO uh, optimizing solution here as well and what they claim here is get a full article in 10 seconds so we'll definitely try out how to write an article using right seed let's just quickly go through their website using ai to find topics for you unique content seo safe blazing fast easy to rewrite sentences i think there's one thing that is really good is their ai um, the chrome extension so regardless of you're using gmail email anywhere browser you want to type as long as you just, just type in two plus signs and then it will just instruct the right seat gpt word to to write words for you whether you want to create it write an email reply to email and we will try that out as well so they'll give you seo analytics over 70 templates so writing full-length articles doing product descriptions website copies ad copies uh, Twitter tweets, jokes, press release, brainstorming, and on and on. So some of the reviews from the users, I would expect these might come from AppSumo. The tool also supported up to 35 languages, so do check inside to see which language you are preferred to use. Quickly look at their pricing. It's premium plan. There's only one plan. It's $16 a month. You get unlimited words. Uh, works for mobile and desktop version. You get free stock photos. And then you get SEO approved safe. I'm not sure what that means. And then yeah, 70 plus AI templates, Chrome extension. It will be good if they can clarify in terms of do they have any limits around the use of SEOs like other tools like Neon Writer, which gives you like a, a certain limit on their LTT plan. So you can start your seven day free, free trial. And if we hop on to AppSumo, they're actually running a deal right now. It's currently $44 for one code. So let's just scroll down on their plans. For the premium plan, for $44, you get 20,000 words per month. You can write up 1,000 word long form articles, uh, 50 plus AI templates. So. 50 plus in, on the website says 70. So I would assume 50 plus includes everything. So this includes the extension as well, the Chrome extension, Pro Writer, free stock photos. Again, the, the key SEO keyword analytics is here as well. I think the major difference between the premium plan and the unlimited words plan will be just the unlimited words per month. So for $88, you will get unlimited words on right seat. So you can see this is the founder, Henrik. This is their descriptions on their two, their unique propositions. We are seeing 30 reviews so far. It seems all of them are pretty, pretty positive. So let's have a quick look. Fantastic AI tool. I see the other ones. Good starting points. Incredible, versatile, and accurate. And then great tools. So let's jump in to see how WriteSeed actually works. So we're now inside the WriteSeed dashboard. As you can see, they have listed all their AI templates here. So quickly you can see the SEO research full length article. So if you want to write uh, articles, you'll choose this one. If you want to batch all your articles, then you click on this one. Pro mode, I think there's something quite unique which i will try later but i'll try out the seo research and full length article first but before that let's just go through the the user interface so all these boxes are the templates 
And then we can also also do a custom template. So if you want to develop your own templates, you can go ahead and click on create new. And then created tags. I think these are just some of the existing existing uh, work that I've done. Post and ads. I think this is a quite unique tool. So if you want to do like an Instagram post, you can put in like uh, what your business is. So let's say in this case it's electric vehicles, EVs. I can put a background image of a Tesla car or any sort of other EV cars. You can find the logo here and then put in your button call to action. You can show the button or you can hide the button and then put in the different languages here and then you'll create all these different uh, images for you. This will be good for social media and maybe advertising. So that's just one feature from Rightseed. So we'll do the blog. We'll do the blog article right now. So clicking on SEO research full length article. So it's nothing here right now. What we can do is just enter a keyword, the article writing feature. So what we could put in here is how to make money with a pressure washer. Pressure washer. We'll target this in American English and hit research. Oh, I had a typo here. See, let's type it again. All right. Here are some of the topics around. Power up your income. Five ways to make money with a pressure washer. From grind to riches. How to turn your pressure washer into a profitable business. Clean up your finance, the ultimate guide to making money with a pressure washer. Spray your way to success, tips and tricks for making money with a pressure washer. So unique, unique topics name. So I will choose this one, power up your income. And related keywords, this not showing me anything. And here are just some of the Google search results. If we put in like starting a, a pressure washing business, so what we can do is hit next. So AI, AI is going to create the outline for me. So we'll just wait for a bit. Here we go. So these will be the H2s or the subheadings. You can choose the number of subheadings you want. Uh, you can choose like eight or 12, depending how long you want this article to be. So let's see, introduction to pressure washing as a profitable business. Understanding different types of pressure washer. Yeah, these will be pretty friendly, user beginner friendly. Identifying potential clients, markets, pricing strategy. I think these are pretty good in terms of how to get started and then maintaining your pressure washer business. And then talk about legal safety considerations, scaling your business to the next level. So we're happy with eight of these and then if you don't like these uh, sub, sub headlines, you can rewrite it. In this case, we'll just hit next and continue. All right, it took around three minutes to get this all done. We're looking at 180, 1,855 words for this article. And they also gave me an image from Unsplash. Unsplash. So that's pretty good. So that's the title, Power Up Your Income, Five Ways to Make Money with a Pressure Washer. And then here's the introduction. Pressure washing is a profitable business that offers a range of opportunities for entrepreneurs, whether you're starting a new business or looking to expand your existing service. Pressure washing can be a lucrative venture. However, like any business, it's important to find ways to increase your income and stay competitive in the industry. In this article, we will explore different strategies to help you maximize your profits and to grow your pressure washing business. So that's a pretty good introduction. I'm not going to read uh, every single line, so you can have a glimpse when you pause the video. But ultimately, it's giving you probably one sentence to two sentences per paragraph. So that's easy to read. You can chop this up if you are targeting your users reading on the mobile device. So they might have some, it's not really a grammar problem, but Grammarly is just highlighting they should have a hyphen in between. So th how the right C2 shines out is that they will have the SEO optimization on the right hand side. 
So if you hit analyze, it's going to it'll just analyze all the keywords that you have. So it's like how to how to make money with a pressure washer. So keyword density is nothing here. Keyword frequency is zero. So in title, so what do we have in our title? Five ways to make money with a pressure washer. How to make money with pressure washer. So it's already there. So let's see how we can actually improve this article now. So we're just, I think for the SEO capability here, it's not going to be as good as like dedicated tools like Neon Writer, Server SEO. You'll get some like just matching keywords inside the title and the first sentence and the last sentence and the subtitle. So let me just have a quick look at this. So I had a quick look just to tweak around, tweak around the words around the keywords. And like if I just change the, if I change the keyword to five ways to make money with a pressure washer, then this would just bump up to 50. I would say this is relatively simple in terms of the SEO optimization. So I wouldn't just fully rely on right seat on the SEO part. So I can probably do one later if I want to put this article into a new writer, but I'll leave that for, for another time. So that's essentially how you will create a blog article using right seat. So again, putting in the keyword, creates the outlines for you, creates the subheaders. If you like them, then just hit next, go ahead and create the article for you. Plus with the, the unsplash image generated here. So let's go back to the original. So let's take a look at the pro mode. So I think the pro mode is just actually just an editor where it allows you to just write anything. And then the AI is going to recommend you live text. So we can use the same uh, article, how to make money with a pressure washer. And then hit let AI write. So it will suggest you one way to make money with the pressure washer is offering your service to clean driveways, patios, sidewalks. It's good. So we can do that. Hit this one. And then as you click on this suggested uh, information, it's going to keep on pump, uh, pumping up different uh, words for you. So here we can see. You can also you can also offer pressure washing for vehicles and new cars, boats, all the other stuff. So there we go. The more you click on it, it's going to give you a, a lot more different outcomes. So they've mentioned cars, they've mentioned homes, residential. Now it's going to give you like a bit more. So after hitting a few times, if you want him to rewrite this for you, let's say you don't like this paragraph, you just highlight the words, hit rewrite, and then it'll give you a, a different outcome. And then if you want right C to expand the conversation here more, all you have to do is just hit expand. So it's a very simple, a long text editor form where you get the expand rewrite or just fully let AI write this for you. That's the pro, pro mode. Also, there's a tutorial you can watch here. So let's have a look at some of the other templates. So in this case, we can choose Fiverr gig. So my service could be, I can write articles for your blogs the tone would be professional in this case it will be in english things to include conduct seo keyword research write your article optimize your article 
So let's say these are the descriptions I want to put in. Uh, the 500 gig description is I can write articles for your blog that attracts viewers. Then hit write text. All right, let's look at the output. Welcome to my Fiverr gig. Are you in search of a professional copywriter who can craft compelling, engaging SEO optimized articles for your blog? Look no further. I'm here to provide you with top notch content that only attracts viewers but also boosts your website's visibility on search engines. So that's a pretty good description. And then it'll just list out what you expect from my gig, list out every single point. So pretty, pretty comprehensive in terms of creating a uh, Fiverr gig in this example. So let's go back to test out some of the other templates. So we'll try out the podcast topics. <clears throat> Again, using that same tone, how to make money with a pressure washer. We'll try it friendly tone English. I'll leave this for blank to see what the outcome will look like. All right, after a few minutes, we got the uh, podcast topic. So topic number one, the basics of starting a pressure washing business, an introduction. In this episode, we will dive into the fundamentals of setting up a pressure washing business. We'll discuss the initial investment required, the equipment needed, and the potential profitability of this venture. We'll also touch on the importance of understanding your local market and how to identify potential clients. So they'll give you a few different topics. Topic number one, topic number two. You get five, oh, let's see. It'll actually write out eight different topics for you. So if you have a podcast, you want to come up with different ideas and topics, this is a pretty good tool to come up with things to talk about on your podcast. So you can download this into a Word document or just copy the text. So I think that was a pretty good, useful template. So I'm going to test out the Chrome extension. So install the Chrome extension. Click on this, it'll bring you to Chrome Market Store. If you use uh, if you use Microsoft Edge, it should be working as well. So it says you can remove it because I've already got this installed. So let's give this a try. So now I've got my Gmail loaded up. I can just use Write C to write me an email. So all I have to do is type in my command prompt, write an email to Sarah to ask for her time slot for meeting next week regarding the upcoming marketing plan. So putting in two pluses, then you can see the dots going on here. And voila. Sorry, I have to use the word voila. So here it created an email for me saying, Dear Sarah, I hope this email finds you well. I'm ready to request a meeting with you next week to discuss the upcoming marketing plan, blah, blah, blah. So it creates a pretty decent email for you. So let's see if we select all the words and if we hit the right seat button. And let's see if we if there are ways to change this. We write this. See if that's how it works. No, I don't think that's how this works. So I went through the tutorial on right seed. It's only gonna give you one action from the command prompt you type in after putting the plus plus word it's not gonna for example it's not gonna use like once you hide the word you can choose to expand or to rewrite some of fly from some of the other tools so just uh, have a note in mind it will only just generate based on the end of the word that you want to put in so like I said, I, I want to do a meeting request for Sarah, then it generates this for me. I can also say, um, for example, 
write a blog article about Australia Novated Leaves. So quickly, it made an article on the topic Novated Leaves, comprehensive guide. If you're looking at a way to finance your next car purchase, a Novated Leaves might be the perfect solution for you. A Novated Lease is a three-way agreement between you, your employee, and the finance company. It allows you to lease a car using a pre-tax income, which can save money on taxes and other expenses. So it's not going to be a super long article using this method. I think as it shows on the tutorials, uh, probably it will be good for writing like uh, emails or just quick, a quick, quick a quick paragraph so i think those are the use case i would see using the chrome extension so jumping back on the right seat in their dashboard so you're not going to get the chat gpt style where you can ask questions and then they'll give you prompts from one to another this is more towards the the more template base and then you've got the pro mode which is the long form editor you can put in uh, exact prompts what you want to generate uh, right see it's it, it looks like um, maybe like word hero create AI those kind of tools where it's more on the using the templates and then some of them using the long form editor to write your blog articles or whatever content you want to write um, I wouldn't fully rely on their SEO capabilities because I, it looks very simple it's not that sophisticated like dedicated tools like Neon Writer or some of the other players. So that is the initial review for WriteSeed. You can check out my links to test this software out if you wish to. And if you have any questions for me, please leave a link down below and I'll see you in the next one.